Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for Makeup Bag Monday. I know, I've been gone for a while. If you guys don't know, I went away for most of May. That was gross. I did pack my makeup bag and honestly, I didn't wear very much makeup. And I showed you everything I did wear on vacation in my vacation get ready with me as well as my vacation beauty favorites. So both those videos are on my channel. If you haven't checked them out, make sure you go watch it. If you didn't know those were up, damn it YouTube, it is up on my main channel page. So definitely check those out. I will also try to remember to link those videos in the description box. So I thought I would start Makeup Bag Monday fresh. I'm going to share with you some new products I have been testing out for a little over a week now. And then of course I will share with you what I will be testing out in the upcoming week. Makeup Bag Monday is a weekly makeup review series where I test out products for an entire week. I come back each week and share with you my thoughts on the products after using them for my lifestyle for an entire week. And I think it's the best way for me to give you really good in-depth product reviews. The first product I've been testing out is the Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur Stick. This is a sheer coverage, lightweight, all over face stick that blurs texture to have a naturally smooth, no filter kind of look. It is perfect for those of you guys who don't like wearing foundation or who maybe don't want to wear foundation every single day but you want a little bit of something. This is definitely like a blurring product. It's very forgiving too. I am in the shade medium four. If you were a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, you can get away with it because it does kind of just morph into your skin. You can blend this in with your fingertips. I actually like using my Artiste brush in oval seven. So this just makes it a little bit easier for me to blend in. I tend to be very rough with my fingers, so sometimes it's better to use a brush for me personally. But this is really nice. I really enjoyed it. I think it's perfect for that summer no makeup makeup look. And it does blur everything, but you still see my freckles, you still see my skin. It does diminish any redness, any sallowness. It's a really good kind of all over blur. It's also good to use as a primer underneath your foundation if you wanted something to blur out the imperfections and then go in with foundation. That works really well, especially if you like light coverage foundation. It also works really well as a touch-up product. So if you're already wearing foundation and you find that throughout the day you're a little bit oily, your product's building up, you can go over this. You can build this product up or you can sheer it out and it works really well with my traditional liquid foundations. I did try it out with the Kogan Doe uh, Aqua. I also tried I it out with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I do share out my Estee Lauder Double Wear and I actually only use Estee Lauder Double Wear like in the areas I need coverage and then I share it all out. It's really great to bring along for a summer road trip, a summer vacation because it is kind of a no fuss product and it really does make your skin look better but still like skin. Along with that, I also tested out some new Nude Sticks Nudies all over face color. This is in the shade In The Nude and this is a matte shade. I really love this shade for a blush and on my eyes. It's really, really creamy, but also dries down to almost a powder finish, which is lovely. So you get that sheer wash of color or you can build it up for more intensity. Very versatile. You can use this depending on the shade you get. You can use it like all over your face. I used it all over my face. And I think this shade is a really pretty like mauve blush tone, very natural, very wearable. You can also use this on your lips if you wanted to. I don't like to because I have pretty dry lips and it can kind of crease right there, but it works beautifully on my cheeks and my eyes and I quite enjoyed it as well. This also does come with a little buffing brush on the end and you can just disinfect that with a alcohol spray or some sort of uh, spray brush cleaner if you wanted to, but I like using my fingers with this because it is more of a matte texture. So even though it's a cream, it dries down pretty quickly. So using my fingers, it gives it a little bit more of a blendability with the warmth from my fingers. Did use the Nudies All Over Face Color in Hey Honey, which is a bronze highlight. This is a really beautiful bronzy shade. You can use this on your eyes, on your cheekbones, on the Cupid's bow. Again, very, very pretty, very versatile. You can even use it on the center of your eyelids to kind of create more of a pop. Um, I do like this. It's good. I think out of everything though, I prefer the, if I could only pick one, I would prefer the In The Nude shade because while I love this, it is a little bit sticky 
um, when you're applying it, which can move around your product underneath if you're wearing full face of foundation. If you're using the Nudie Blur Tint, you'll be fine, um, but just be aware of that if you're using full foundation. This, you're gonna wanna use your fingers and pat on. Don't use the stick itself because it is going to drag a little bit of your product. Concealer I've been revisiting is a ride or die favorite of mine. This is my Clay de Peau Concealer. This is my second one that I've purchased. I am in the shade Beige, and these are good for two years. These are a cult favorite in the beauty world for a reason. They're incredibly high coverage and very matte, but still looks beautiful on skin. You can sheer it out and it covers everything you need it to cover. It doesn't really crease. It wears beautifully. It works great when you're oily. It works really great on dry, more mature skin as well. It is quite pricey, but it lasts you for two years and it's a great stick concealer. I like using it under my eyes as well as around my nose, around my mouth and it does a really good job at concealing any discoloration. It's just an incredible payoff in terms of coverage, and it blends really beautifully. You don't have to set it if you don't want to. I like setting it under my eyes just because I'm always freaking out about my under eye uh, fine lines. New product that I've been testing out and absolutely loving is from Buxom. This is the Sexy Smoky Kajal Powder Liner Eyeliner and I have Smoldering Brown. I thought this was so unique when I opened it. So the product is actually in the cap, I think, and then you've got this pointy sponge that pulls the product out. It's a powder, but it goes on so incredibly easy and smooth on my lash line. It is very pigmented. It is not tugging whatsoever, and it lasts a very long time on me. It actually uh, requires a little effort to remove at the end of the night with my cleansers. So really, really love this product. I think it's very unique, and more importantly, it goes on so easily. So if you don't typically do well with eyeliner, I think this is a great foolproof way to apply your liner. So I really enjoyed this, and I highly recommend you guys check this out. I feel like no one's talking about this. It's really good. It comes in black as well, and I have both shades, but Smoldering Brown is my favorite for a more natural look. A bronzer I've really been enjoying and using a lot is the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Bronzed. When I first got this, I was like, this is such a beautiful shade, but then when I applied it, I was like, oh, you can't really see it, but you can. So it's not going to be that like dramatic bronze, which I appreciate because sometimes it can look muddy or too much on me. So this is a really beautiful, smooth, natural bronze for yourself if you're around my shade range. It looks like you're kissed by the sun and it warms up your face but it doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of makeup which again is my look right now it's what I love it's kind of what I've always loved but I'm embracing it more so and not buying into the hype and the trend so really enjoyed this it does come off a little bit warmer so if you're trying to contour or do anything crazy like that this is not the product for you and in fact contouring you really do need a different type of a color because contouring is not bronzer. Bronzer warms up your face. Contour, you're creating shadows and you definitely, depending on your shade tone, for me, you'd want something a little more gray. So anyways, a little spiel. Been loving this a lot. Brow product I've been testing out for quite some time now is the Elate Cosmetics Brow Balm in Smoke. This is a beautiful, waxy, balmy, coloring brow product. What I love about Elate Cosmetics is they try to be as uh, sustainable as possible with their packaging. Everything is refillable so I can pop this sucker out, recycle the little pan, and get a new one to pop in. The brow balm is just exactly what you expect from a balm. It's waxy, it's pomade-y, but it's not sticky, it's not heavy, and then it has a little bit of color payoff that you can build up. I've been using this in conjunction with tinting my brows at home, and it's just beautiful. So this tames my brows, it kind of sets everything, but it also gives me a little more added color in the areas I need to fill in my brows. And I love what the brand and the company stands for, as well as that they're cruelty-free. I believe their products are also vegan, but I'll have to double check on that. They are a Canadian-based brand, so if you're ordering in the States, I wouldn't just order one thing, I'd order a couple things, because then um, it would make the shipping worthwhile. Love the package too it's really cute and it's also sustainable it's made out of um, wood powder I was revisiting I've tested this out in makeup bag Monday before but I'm re 
visiting it because I'm testing it out even more. And this is the Hourglass Veil Powder. I really enjoy this. I know there's mixed reviews. I really like this. I think if you are on the drier to normal side, you'll enjoy this. I think if you're oilier, maybe this isn't enough to set your makeup. Maybe it's not enough to control your oils. But I find it perfect to set my makeup without looking powdery. I also find it perfect in my dry areas. I also don't mind using this when I am a little more oily to reapply around my T-zone. It doesn't cake. It doesn't look like powder, which I love. And a little bit goes a long way. So make sure you only use a tiny, tiny bit. You shouldn't see the product on your face, but it's doing its job and I love it. A highlight I've also been testing out is new to me. It's from Clay de Poe and this is the Clay de Poe Luminizing Face Enhancer in the shade 17. This is absolutely stunning if you look at this packaging. I'm wearing it today. You can see it's a very um, moonlit white based luminizer and it wears so well throughout the day as I get oilier and warmer and hotter. It just blends really nicely into the rest of my makeup. I'm enjoying it a lot and since I have it, I'm using it all the time. The lip liner on repeat is my Bite Beauty lip liner in the shade 32. I've already repurchased this. I love it. It's my lips but better and I typically line my lips and then I'll just apply lip balm throughout the day. Sometimes I'll test out different lip products but I'll still use this. It's one of my absolute favorites. It is very soft so sharpening it can be a little challenging at times but definitely worth the challenge. So I've been testing out the Glossier Lash Slick religiously for about two weeks now and I really enjoyed this mascara. It's definitely different from my favorite which is the Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup. Kush is a little more dramatic, a little more vol voluminous. The Lash Slick is a little bit more feathery, a little bit more lengthening, and a little bit more natural but still very very effective. So what I find with the Lash Slick is you're going to get more lengthening and feathery effect. With my favorite Milk Makeup One Kush Mascara is more voluminous. So this one, a lot of people are asking me like, what's the difference? Those are the differences between the two. Do Which one would I pick? It really depends on my mood. If I am wanting more length and more feathery effect, I go with the Glossier. If I want more volume, more drama, I'm gonna go with the Kush Mascara. The Kush Mascara is also more nourishing on my lashes. I do find the Glossier one is harder to remove at the end of the night. So if you tend to have smudgy mascara, you might want the Glossier one versus the Kush Mascara because the Kush Mascara, I've heard mixed reviews in terms of how it wears. I personally have no issues with it smudging on me, but some people do. So if you are one of those people, then try out the Glossier Lash Slick instead. Um, if you've never tried any Glossier products or if you just want to support my channel, you can use my reps page. Glossier.com slash reps slash serene. And if you're a first time shopper, you'll get 20% off your entire order. If you're a repeat customer, you do still get free shipping after a certain amount. And it does help me out and supports my channel. I love Glossier, you guys know. Some products I'm not as huge of a fan of. The mascara is really, really good. I think they did an incredible job with creating this mascara. I do find that the mascara is a little bit sticky. So if you have really long lower lash lashes and you have also really long lashes on top, you can find that it sometimes it'll stick. So that's my only complaint about that. Um, overall, if you want lengthening, if you want that feathery natural extension look, this is a great one. I've been using this as my extensions fall out because it creates length for my actual lashes and it blends in my leftover extensions with my natural lashes and it just makes my lashes look better overall. I love using it on my lower lash line because I find that it looks really long and it makes my lower lashes look really, really pretty. The wand is really nice too because I'm able to get in there. I'm able to get into the corners. I'm able to get on the outside. It really grabs and pulls through my lashes and really gets the product evenly throughout the entire lash. So here are the products I'm going to be testing out for next week. First product is the Selawasu Perfecting Cushion in Brightening. I love the Perfecting Cushion in the brown packaging. I It was a favorite of mine. I used it all summer last year. That one's a little pricier. This one is a little bit more affordable in the line. Along with that, I also have the Selawasu Powder for Cushion. And this is the powder that they recommend using if you want to set your cushion or if you're oily throughout the day. I'm also testing out the Selawasu Multi Cushion Highlighter. This is the first cushion highlighter I've ever encountered and it looks just like a cushion compact but 
smaller and for a highlight. It's going to be a very Sulawasu week because I wanted to test out their products. I know a lot of you guys were interested when I did my Insta story get ready with me and um, you guys wanted to know how these products perform so I'm going to wear them a little bit longer. So here is the Radiance Blusher in number two. This is really pretty. There's also another one that's a little more pinky. This is the Sulawasu Essential Lip Serum Stick in the shade number eight Soft Rose. Solid lip serum. So they're supposed to be hydrating, they're supposed to be nourishing, good for your lips, but also nice color payoff. So I have this one, and then I also have a coral one that I really like, and I think that's in my purse currently. So I'll be switching off between a couple of the shades, and I'll get back to you guys on how I enjoy these as my lip color. You can probably tell a trend here on my channel and on my stories is I've been really into skincare, taking good care of my skin. It's always been something I've been really interested in. There's a lot of skincare here on my channel, but with makeup, Makeup lately, I've also been looking for makeup that's good for my skin that's going to enhance what I've been doing, which is facial treatments, diet, and skincare regimens. So, Solawasu, I recently met up with them again at an event and I was really intrigued with a lot of their other color products because I've tested out their skincare. I'm a huge fan of that one cushion I've talked to you guys about here on my channel, but I had no idea they had blushes and highlights and lip serums. So I'm very excited to test out these products. I want them to be good for my skin, but I also wanna make sure that they're performing and make me look my best. I will definitely check back with you guys next week in Makeup Bag Monday to let you know how these products perform. So make sure you tune in. And better yet, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe, turn on that post notification bell. So hopefully when I upload, there's a new video um, notification sent to you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. As always, I hope my videos helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. And at the end of the day, I just hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was you needed help taking your mind off of. My upload schedule is pretty much whenever I feel like it right now. There's always going to be a Makeup Bag Monday whenever I am able to do one and I will always have new and beauty mid month and of course favorites at the end of the month or early the following month and I've been doing three uploads a week but it's kind of like every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, but this is gonna be a Monday video because it's Makeup Bag Monday. So I'm uploading quite a bit, so make sure you check back. If you don't see post notifications um, from me because you haven't turned on the notification bell, just check back on my main channel page. There's always the new upload section, and I do try to upload three to four times a week here, so make sure you come back, watch my videos. YouTube doesn't really share my videos anymore. Um, I know everybody's kind of complaining about that. I'm not trying to complain. I'm just letting you guys know because a lot of the times you guys will come back and watch old videos and be like I didn't even know this video existed so it's just a little disheartening because we put in so much work in all of our videos I'm saying we as a as all content creators so help us out check back our main channel pages um, subscribe turn on those post notifications share our videos with your friends and family and people who might enjoy our videos and don't forget to check me out on Instagram because I do weekly giveaways for my active engaged followers over there and new and beauty will be up this week as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!